Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler channel. This is Raj. So in this session, we are going to discuss how do we create a Revit parametric duct union family. This is going to be a simple family. And if you are starting with uh, parametric modeling in duct fittings or any other models that you want to create in parametric, this is going to be the basic and you can watch this and you will be able to understand what is happening with the uh, modeling and what is happening with the duct connectors. So this is the basic families for all other families and if you are able to understand and grasp these things and you can apply the same to the other families and you can get started with the other multiple parametric families. So I'm happy to see you here. So if you are not subscribed to the BIM Modeler channels, you can subscribe to the BIM Modeler channels and uh, we as a BIM Modeler, we are helping other BIM Modelers to learn advanced parametric concepts. Uh, from family modeling to the uh, Revit API. So we are also starting up with uh, Dynamo tutorials and uh, Revit API tutorials upcoming next. So if you are not subscribed yet, you can subscribe and do share with the other friends so that uh, let others learn it the same. From this, let's start uh, so from the next tutorials. So I'm just having uh, Revit open. So it's simple mechanical template and I'm just wanted to draw a duct how uni, uh, union work actually so if you have a duct and if you wanted to split the ducts into a two elements you can take the split command which is sl and you can click on any place and it will show you the dimensions that you where you want to click so you simply click on the positions so it will create a simple family over in this place and you will be able to select it and it's just a simple family a rectangle union family and it does it just have three parameters something like this and we're gonna create the same from the scratch file new family so i'm going to take metric generic model open close the other windows okay so we just going to first of all apply the family settings that is a duct fitting family this is must settings that you have to do the second setting which is part type which is not a elbow and this is very much important to Revit to understand whether what it is so the Revit will understand based on this so this is going to be always vertical and it is not our plane based family so everything other things are looks good and make sure that you are not selected anything and make sure that the part type it is union place so going to the bottom so everything looks good if you need omni class you can assign the omni class over in this place uh, which i'm not doing it right now okay the next thing is that uh, we have to save the family to our project locations and to the union family folder which is that union standard option one backup Save. really i hate the backup files uh, because it really disturbs us it creates n number of files over to the our folder okay so let's start uh, creating the constraints and parameters and create similar cs to create the similar reference plane over in this place to the other side and you can make equal constraint and you can apply this parameter and if you need any other reference plane you can create it since it's a rectangle shape that we're going to trying to create it if you need to create a circular type you can create it but only thing the only difference is that and the shape it changes so we don't need any other uh, reference plane over to the top side or bottom side so we can constrain it inside of the sketch so no need it we are not going to do multiple geometries over in this place the next thing is that we need a parameters we can create a parameter before that we can create a settings let's create a parameter name called duct length 
and make sure that you are creating this as a HVAC duct size. So this is the important thing. Based on this, the Revit will understand automatically what is it. When, when you are clicking on the duct, it will take the duct size and it will adjust the size automatically to the matching sizes. So let for this, it can be the duct length can be a length parameter also, but make sure that uh, it can be in the same category so that it will be easy for us. We are going to apply this as an instance parameter. So instance to instance, the duct length may vary or you can keep this as a type also if it is required to be. But other two parameters duct width and duct uh, height need to be as instance parameter since the, it will vary based on the instance. So everything looks good and say OK. New parameter duct height. Let me say height. HVAC duct size instance. OK. And one more parameter. Duct width, HVAC, duct size, instance. Okay. So if you are not familiar with reference plane and the parameter creations, we have already one tutorials on it, and I will give you the link on the above uh, and below in the command. So you can reference the uh, top side, and you will be able to understand. Uh, you can refer those videos, and you can get the maximum benefit of out of it. So we'll we are discussing all the parameters and all the different options of reference plane. And how do we use it? Reference plane and reference lines. All those details are available. Complete. Duct height. Uh, we can make this as uh, 300. And for uh, as of now, 300 for width. Duct length. We can keep this as 50. You can keep your own length, and so that it will be great. And if you need any other parameters, that you can fill it out. Uh, Bim modeler.com. So this is our websites. So we are trying to create all the contents as free to all the users and so we are trying to create this website as open and but still it is in progress of uh, developing it and we will be coming back to this website as it goes we are trying to create as many as parameter uh, parameter family and dump it into that thank you next thing is that we create an extrude parameter from the center and uh, assign the parameter so in this place and make sure that as I said, we should not create a parameter from here. We created it will automatically take this as a length parameter. We should not do this as a length. It must be a duct size. So always create a parameter and assign it for length. That's it. And going to the right side view or left side view, the views that you are comfortable. And I'm always right side. And create extrude. A rectangle shape so this is going to be a rectangle union and place roughly around the center axis so make sure that you are drawing it around the center axis so the center axis will be in the middle of the line and to the right side also make sure that you are drawing it in the along the center select these elements so why i'm drawing it as a extrude you can do it as a sweep also it is possible and but this object doesn't require or it doesn't follow any profile so it is better to have extrude it is very simple so i'm just creating the parameters in each side so this is going to be duct width and the other one is going to be duct height width and height so it is equally constrained so we are not creating any other geometry to constrain it to outside the reference plane so we are just creating without uh, reference plane just finishing it and you can go to the level and you make sure that align using align command aligning with this line to the other side to this line finish it going to the 3d and you will be able to see this geometry and everything looks good uh, we have to create the parameters and we make sure that you are flexibly flexing it so that it makes changes to the dimension 260 yes it is changing and making control is that okay the only thing left is uh, connector we have to create a duct connectors and assign parameters and we have to create a symbol and we can able to test the family so let's go and create a duct connector and 
select the face so i'm just selecting this side face and you can have it any side as primary face but you can make sure that always it for a duck fitting you keep it as this side as primary side so that it will be easy for us to manage for this union you can keep it on both sides it is okay then the next thing is that you have to link the connector to understand these two are related and it will connect as perpendicular to each other so while well, you connect it so by framing it you so that you can see the link between those two and shading it everything looks good now and we can save the family once once again and we can go back to the uh, again to the same place and we can create a model line or annotation line you can create so it depends on where you wanted to see and just create it outside so i convenient more convenient to create it outside so align it perfectly okay so now it's clear and we have drawn a reference um, line which is shows as a symbol in project let's save this family and if you want to control it and you can control their visibility so in plan view course view we don't want to see so you can hide it say okay and say one more time load into project and we don't want to save the project and you can come and you can just place the family it will be splitted or if you wanted to uh, assign that into a routing preference you can see that this dimension it is very less but we, we kept it as and uh, bigger size 50 millimeter so it is it doesn't matter so you can change it at any time it's a parametric family that as per your requirement the next thing is that uh, we have to assign that into a routing preference and make sure that while changing that into a course view it changes to the symbol single line so you can see that it is a single line and yes it is coming back to the fine and we have to assign that into a routing preference so select it go back in routing preference you can see that rectangle union standard one it is available and if you this is the one we have created duct union standard one and say ok and click ok now if you are trying to create a duct fittings or duct and Click the element SL shortcut. Click it. Automatically, our new family will be placed on in in position. You can go to the 3D, and you will be able to see it in 3D. And make sure that you are making it into course and testing it whether it works perfect. Yes, this is our family. So everything looks good. And if you are trying with the duct or rectangle shapes, we can go back and is 3d it is very simple and we can save this save as family and that union so it's supposed to be that union round and save and you can delete it or you can keep it and we can change it later to a round as a now so we have to change these parameters so we can go to the right side of the view and <clears throat> edit it we don't need these parameters anymore so you can change this parameter as delete it and you can create a, a circle object over in this place select it center mark enable it align it so this is how you align the circle object to a constraint position in a center place you can lock all the elements create a diameter to this object and you can select it and you should not create it this way you have to create it here and we don't need it height object and parameters we can remove it the other one width parameter you can modify that as duct diameter and it is in duct size okay 
now you will be able to select the parameters and go and assign this as that diameter that's it now everything is parameterized and you can finish it go to 3d to see it you have to change these connectors and make sure that uh, the parameters are assigned the previous times we have not assigned the parameters so we missed out so this one we have to assign it so in this place we have to change this as round and you can assign the diameter as diameter duct diameter okay so i hope the connector and primary connections will be connections linking connections and primary connector will be remain same so we have to open the previous family duct union standard and we must be make sure that assign the height parameter with parameter let's save this family load into project over at the existing board okay so let's come back to the circle one so this one it's perfectly looks good and save this family one more time load into project okay that let's say this one it is in the 12 inch diameter and split element i'm just creating the previous one this is the standard one which is available by default we have to change the routing preference going to the union union standard round one Click command. This is going to be our ours. So this is how you create a rectangular union families and circular union families in Revit. And this is going to be the simple model. And from this, if you are able to understand and you are, if you are able to model this, and you can create any other families using the same way. So that's it for uh, today's in this tutorials and. Thank you so much for watching so we are coming up with the next tutorials we see you on the next tutorial thank you bye